Hi, if you want to learn to stop smoking for your children, I think I can help. My name is Bill. I'm an ex-smoker. Um, I'm lucky enough to, um, to have four children and six grandchildren at this point in my life. Um, I did smoke for a good portion of my, my children's uh, early years uh, before I quit. Um, I'll tell you that as a smoker, you know, during the times that you should otherwise be more focused as a parent on your, your children's successes and their victories and the things they're doing, their activities, and even just the little day-to-day -day things. The, uh, the uh, award at a, a Girl Scout, uh, you know, uh, meeting. Uh, the, you know, going to school and, and watching your kids sing in chorus, uh, you know, orchestra, band sporting uh, events uh, there's just so many times even down to a point like playing video games with my kids on my days off there were so many times that after a period of time I'd have to stop and say okay let's pause the video game I just want to have a cigarette I'll be back in a couple of minutes I did this over and over and over I know how miserable it feels there's just no real reason why you should want to do that um, you don't have to do that uh, the, countless times I, I'd have to stop um, as we begin a Girl Scout function it would last 45 minutes or an hour about halfway through I just started saying gee I wonder how long this is going to be I wonder you know when we can get outside so I can have a cigarette and then I'd have to kind of smoke quick because I didn't really want to smoke in the car with the family on the ride home and you couldn't really smoke in obviously in the building where the Girl Scout meeting was so then you had to kind of puff real quick to, before you got in the car uh, and then when you got home you had to go have another cigarette so this cycle just kind of goes on and on and, and it just it doesn't really have to be um, but, and that's just the inconvenience and, and the, the memory part of things my kids used to say, Dad, you know, you got to quit smoking. It's not good for you. It's, it's unhealthy. It's, uh, you don't, you know, you have to, you have to quit for, you know, your own, to, to live. Um, they wanted me to quit all the time. Um, they would ask me why I couldn't quit. And it's hard to tell you, you know, a young child, like, well, it really bothers me. I, I, I want to smoke because I, I would feel bad if I quit. Or the nicotine. How do you explain nicotine addiction? to a, a grade school child. You can't. You don't. You just look like, in some ways, you know, you're not maybe the superhero that they thought. You know, maybe you're weaker than, than they, they always look up to you as a parent, and now they may say, well, maybe they're not the superhero I thought they were. Um, all the way up to a point when my oldest daughter was in college, she actually did a, a project um, to try to change, um, you know, like, it, I can't really explain it, but it was, it was in such a way to try to change behavior. And she did it about me to try to help me quit smoking. So when you put all these things together and then you say to yourself, okay, what about the health side, which is even the more important thing? First of all, I, I, I ask you, if you do smoke, don't smoke in the house with your children or your wife or your husband, your family. You know, smoke outside. You know, be somewhere where they're not breathing the smoke. Um, the health aspects, you don't want to breathe, you don't, excuse me, you don't want to smoke around your children. They shouldn't breathe smoke. Your choice to be a smoker is your choice. It's not their choice. Um, I did that, again, when they were very young, and I had to change at one point, even while I was a smoker, and I'm glad I did. But I, but I ask you, definitely don't do that. So if you really need to, to quit smoking for, for your family, which I think is just, you know, it's... It will make you feel so much better, so much better as a person when you can do that for your family and for your children. You know, it, it, it's so, so important. Do it and see how you feel. I think I can help. When I quit smoking about 15 years ago, I put together, or actually I should say, I wrote down everything, how I felt, what I did, the steps I took, and then I did it successfully. And I ultimately realized that if I had known how easy it was, and I say that as, as easy as it can be, it's not completely easy, but it was easier than I thought, uh, and it was painless, and I moved on and never looked back. So I wrote this all down, and now that I'm nearing retirement, I decided to put this together as a program and make it available to the public to help them quit smoking. Um, it will cost you less than the price of a carton of cigarettes in most places, and I truly believe that it will help you become a non-smoker, um, I know it worked for me. I literally bet my life on it. 
I look forward to seeing you as a non-smoker.